all right what's up everyone so i'm sure if you guys have uh you know seen seen what's been circulating regarding my name you know i'm uh i'm sure you guys have seen some videos regarding you know stuff that has been being said about me right and this video is just to uh you know i guess address those kind of things so um first things first yes i am banned from project slayers and um yes there will be no more project slayers content um for those of you who want to play who, who are just here to fake like here like what i plan on doing with the channel for the future uh here's the thing um before i got banned i think a couple days before i got banned i already quit project slayers like that, 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 that's what I was, I was gonna tell you guys in this video. I already quit Project Slayers before I got banned, anyways. Like I, I, I wasn't planning on even playing the game anymore, anyways. I was planning on switching my content up to like something, I don't know, anything, just something that's not Project Slayers because I really just don't enjoy the game anymore. So I guess I'm kind of appreciative of, of the fact that, um, I, I like, I, I'm banned from the game after I quit. So I guess you guys could expect, um all kinds of roblox games on my channel but i'm also thinking about doing gpo content possibly i'm not sure um maybe gpo maybe just any kinds of other anime games you guys could uh join my discord link in the description and you know you guys can dm me suggestions for games and stuff um but i could also end up being like a, a flamingo type youtuber just playing all kinds of games just being like a little funny comedy troll youtuber i don't mind doing that either i mean it's up to you but um, yeah, that, that that's my plan for the channel, because I really just don't plan on play, making Project Slayers content anymore. Even if I were to be unbanned, I, I still wouldn't make content on the game, just because it's such a boring game. There's nothing to do. Once once you have everything I have, you can't. There's really nothing else for you to do. So that's one. Okay. Now two, there are some screenshots circulating about me. Uh, the ones I remember being the one where I said I want to auto farm on someone's private server. And then also the one where I said I was going to scam my fans. Um, and I don't, I, there might be some more. I don't even remember. There was one, uh, was it, I also, was it another reason? So those are two of the screenshots that got me banned. And then another thing that got me banned is using the black avatar. So let's address those one by one. First, let's address the black avatar. Black avatar, yes. It is an exploit. For a lot of you have been asking me how to get the black avatar. You guys are DMing me like, yo, how'd you get the, how'd you make your skin all black? And I don't respond to you guys because the reason, the way you get the black avatar is through exploits. You have to, you have to get a script and exploit and turn your avatar black because that skin is unobtainable regularly in the game. So yeah, that's how, that's how you get the black avatar. And yes, scripts are bannable, so that black avatar is bannable. Now, here's the reason I use the black avatar. One, I wasn't the one who did the scripts to get the black avatar. It was one of my friends. He DM'd me, he messaged me, yo, Mukto, do you want the black avatar that I have? Cause I was, I saw him have the black avatar and I, at the time I never knew how to get the black avatar. He just, he just told me and said, yo, Mukto, do you want the black avatar that I have? I was like, yeah, sure, it looks sick. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna need your account. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I gave him my account and he ended up scripting on it and getting the black avatar for me. So yeah, that's 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 one of the ways I, that that's that's one of the reasons I got black avatar. Um, and another reason I I ended up was it when I did find out it was scripts, I was it the reason I didn't take it off is because I did I I was it I, some testers I asked some testers like straight on in DMs I asked them yo is the black avatar bannable. And they told me straight in my face, nah, it's harmless, it's not bannable, nobody cares. So I was like, okay, I thought I thought I was in the clear. So I won't I won't uh um like ramble on about the black avatar for too long because it's probably not the most important part of the, the, the whole situation. But yeah, that's that's me addressing the black avatar. Now second thing, the auto farming on someone's private server. That is kind of a similar deal. Um what do you call it? I was trying to get I was out I was trying to get all the titles, right? And then what do you call it? One of my friends, they DM me. They're like, "Yo, I could get you all the titles. I, like, I, I just need to get on your account. I'm gonna grind for all, all the titles for you." I was like, "Okay, I got you." And then he, he's like, "I'm gonna need a private server because I, I was it the I'm I'm a, I'm a auto farm with the script." And I was like, "Oh, okay. I mean, all right, I guess." So then I DM someone. I DM them, "Yo, I'm a, I need to auto farm on your private server." And yeah. 
So yes, that is, I take responsibility as my fault. Uh, Cause I'm not gonna be some l little loser who's just gonna sit here and be like, nah, that wasn't me, that's fake screenshots, that's forged. Yes, that's a real screenshot. And yes, I did ask for someone's private server for that. The only thing I will deny is that, no, it was not me exploiting, it was someone else. But yes, I was account sharing. So I guess that, if you're gonna incriminate me, incriminate me for account sharing. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh no, that's fake, that's fake. I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the bigger man, I'm gonna just say it myself, I'm gonna take responsibility, I'm gonna say yes, it was account sharing. Cause I mean I've seen I, I I've seen I've seen too many YouTubers get in trouble for stuff like this and then they, they just don't they handle it correctly. I'ma handle it correctly, I'ma take responsibility, yes. I was account sharing and that's how I ended up asking for a private server for auto farming, blah blah blah. Okay. Now I'm a, I think this is the final one. I think I'm not hundred percent sure. But the final one is me saying I'm gonna scam my fans. Now this is the one that baffles me the most. Because one I have never scammed any fans, okay? Two, if I were to ever scam a fan, okay? If I were ever to scam a fan, you guys see I live stream all, not all, all the time, not often. I'd say not, okay, not often, I won't say often, but I do live stream a fair bit, okay? So my live, so I'm completely open to anyone just coming into my live chat and spamming in chat, Mukto scam me, Mukto scam me, they scam me. But has that ever happened? I mean, I have all my live VODs saved. I could go check my VODs and see if anyone ever de uh, sent in chat, oh, Mukto scam me, Mukto scam me. Nobody's ever said that because I've never scammed anyone. Um, and then the reason I did say that in the screenshots, because again, I'm not going to sit here and act like a little loser YouTuber who's going to say, oh, those screenshots are fake. They're fake. Uh, you, uh, they, like he did scam me or like, what do you call it? I I'm, I'm not going to say that they're, they're like forged screenshots. They are real screenshots. I did DM someone that. The only reason I was it the reason I said that is because I was a small YouTuber at the time. I think that the screenshot was like two or three months old. At the time, I had like mm, probably not much more than 100, 200 subscribers. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I did not have many subscribers at all. Definitely not not many subscribers. So I was I said that because that was when I was first returning to the game, um, and that was when like I was playing because I quit. Was it before I sent those messages? I quit the game for like three months. If you guys don't know, I did release a video. I uh, when I came back for update one point five, I released a vi released a video called um, "I'm Back." Okay, and that was after my three month hiatus. So I was planning on blowing up my channel in, in like after I came back, right? And I succeeded. I blew up my channel. I, we we went from a hundred subs to six k subs in like those few months. So yeah, I succeeded. And at the time, I was really I was I was really excited to blow up, right? I was just a small YouTuber. I was was it, I was imagining like, oh, I can just scam my fans, take all the items, and then like I'll be super rich and stuff, right? But that was before I had a big fan base. That was before I was popular. That was before I understood what it felt like to be popular. Now, now that I am popular, right, and I realize that I actually, I actually like my fan base and I love you guys, right? I realize that oh no, I can't do something like that to my fans. That would that like that would just make me feel bad. Like I don't think it would be worth like if. Like well, it, me feeling that bad is not worth just getting like knock as a set from someone like scamming someone out of a knock as a set. So yes, I did say that, and yes, that was immature of me to say. I will take responsibility. That was very immature of me to say. But I never actually scammed anyone because then I, I what was it. I grew up. I matured. Well, I didn't. It was like three months. But I did. I, I matured. I realized what it's like to actually be popular, right? You know, have a have an actual fan base, and I realized. It's, it's really not worth it. It's really not worth it. And I, I mean, I encourage you guys to actually, I encourage you guys to understand, as, understand that as well. You guys would probably like imagine like being a big U YouTuber. I, I, I'm sure a lot of people would imagine this. A, a lot of my friends told me like, yo, I would do the same too. Like I would, I, I would like blow up and I would scam a bunch of my fans. I get the super rich and stuff. But I, I, I want, I, I encourage you guys to understand that like, it's really, it feels really different once you actually have the fan base. Once you have people DMing you every day, like, yo, I love your channel. I love your channel. I love your videos. Yo, uh, like, you're, you're my favorite YouTuber. Like, it makes you feel some, some type of way if you want to, if you actually end up scamming them. So, I, yeah, no, I never scammed anyone. I did say I would, and I, but I never actually went through with it. So, yeah, that's, like, my addressing of that. And I don't think there's much else for me to address. Um, I mean, like, yeah, I'm banned. No more Project Slayers content, I guess. I mean, maybe GPO content. I'm gonna have to grind GPO. So, you know, that's gonna be a little bit annoying. But, um, yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, I'm playing Apex Legends right now. 
because this was a one what was it i quit uh, like i said earlier okay i'm stuttering a lot like i said earlier i quit the game before i even got banned like a couple days before i got banned so like it doesn't really like affect me much because I, I, I was i started playing apex legends after i quit so like you know like i don't really care i don't really care i mean yeah i don't really care um but um yeah i i, I hope this guy i i mean i hope this video kind of you know cleared up some some confusion about me about like my my image and everything right but um yeah uh final final verdict i guess final verdict um i've never exploited yes i did account share and i take responsibility for that i did account share and um i'm probably not gonna be playing any more project slayers because i really just don't like the game anymore like it's just a boring game but um yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully i see you guys in not the next project slayers video but the next video but yeah you guys could also dm me on my discord you know suggestions for the next video but yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next video